to English line. So today we continue our lesson about stative verbs, right? In the previous lesson, I talked about stative verbs. What does it mean? The stative verbs are not used in present continuous, right? So do you remember that I told you or are plus verb ing? Stative verbs are not used with present uh, continuous, but still they are used in the present time, but the construction is not for present continuous. And then at the end of the lesson I told you that there are some stative verbs that can have exceptions. So they can be used in present continuous. And in present simple. So I will talk about the uh, exceptional stative verbs that can be used in present continuous and present simple. But the basic rule for stative verbs is that they are not used in continuous. But today we will talk about some exceptions. So, what are these verbs? They are uh, verbs like following, feel, smell, taste, think, admire, have, right? So, we will start with the verb feel and I will explain both variants. Uh, the verb feel, number one, right? So, this verb can be used in present continuous and in present simple. It depends on the translation. So, if we say that the meaning of this verb means to have an opinion, to have an opinion, we use present simple. We use present simple. So, but if this verb has the meaning of like somebody's health, somebody's health, we can use present continuous. Okay, let's look at some examples. For example, uh, I feel, I feel he will come tomorrow. So, I feel he will come tomorrow. Right? So, this phrase is the same like, I think, I feel he will come tomorrow. So this is opinion. This is my opinion. To my opinion, he will come. That's why we use present simple. So fail, no ing, right? Sometimes, number two, when we talk, when we ask about health, we can use present continuous form. For example, you can ask, how are you feeling? How are you feeling right i think you've heard it many times in different films maybe right or maybe you read uh, this construction from the books how are you feeling right now right uh, but if you say how do you feel no problem so this is kind of exempt exception how do you feel the same you can use both variants, but when you say, how are you feeling, you underline the present moment. How are you feeling right now? How are you feeling at the moment, right? But if you say, how do you feel, no problem. Just if you see ing with the verb feel, don't be surprised, all right? So present continuous, how are you feeling? So the next verb is number two smell 
smell. Here I have to give you uh, the translation. Uh, in Turkish language it has two different trans translations and the first one is kokmak. If the translation is kokmak we use present simple. Present simple. But if the translation is koklamak, we use present continuous. So, the example, the example. Uh, the flowers smell good. What do you think? Is it kokmak or koklamak? Right? So, the flowers, the flowers smell good. It means their smell is good, right? Uh, you tr can translate into your language. The flowers smell good. Right? So, their smell is nice. So, present simple. That's why we just put the verb in present simple form. Plural, plural form, smell. And the next example, the cook or, for example, the my sister is smelling flowers. Let me write it. My sister is smelling flowers. So, you see that the translation, you can write now or at the moment, you see that the translation is koklamak. So, right now my sister is smelling flowers, right? So, she is doing the action. She is smelling right now. That's why we use present Continuous, M is R plus ing. So from the sentences you can understand the meaning. Is it this translation or this one? Depending on the translation, you can uh, change the tense, simple or continuous, right? So now we continue with our next verb. Next verb is taste. So. The next one, number three, is taste. Taste. So, there are also two translations. Tadu olmak, right? The first one. Okay, no problem. Uh, I will write it in this color. Okay. Red one. Tadı olmak. The first meaning. The first meaning. Tadı olmak. Mm -hmm. So we use present simple. And the next one. Tadına bakmak. So, present, simple, and present, continuous, as usual. So, I'll make it short form. Tadı olmak. You will see from the example. The first example is, the soup tastes badly. Let me write it. The soup tastes badly so it means that the taste of the soup is bad the soup mm, the soup tastes badly right tad of the soup right so that's why this is it the soup he she is right 
uh, he, she, we use s at the end of the verb. So that's why the soup tastes badly. We use present simple. And the next one, the cook is tasting the soup. The cook is tasting the soup. Can you guess the translation? Right? Also, you can write here like tatmak, tadna bakmak. The same, right? So, the cook is tasting the soup. Hmm. Yeah, the soup tastes badly. I am tasting the soup, right? Tadna bakmak. That's why we use present continuous. If it's the action of tasting, you use present continuous. If it is in the present moment, of course, you can say now. From the meaning, you understand. For example, soup cannot have action of tasting. It tastes, but is tasting, it's, it's actually not the human being, right? To taste something. All right, next one, the verb number four is think. Think. Think also has, uh, the main meaning is düşünmek, right? But depending on the translation, we can use present simple or present continuous also. So the first one is uh, a point of view. A point of view. You can say bakış açısı, right? Let me write it. Or the translation will be exact like benje. Benje. Right? And in this case, we will use present simple. And the next uh, meaning of the verb think is the process of thinking. The process of thinking. So, you can write like thinking, düşünmek. So, this is bence, this is düşünmek. Right now, the process of thinking. In this case, we will use present continuous. Alright? So, let me write the examples. I think... He will come. I think he will come tomorrow, maybe, right? Do you remember the example with the verb to feel? I feel he will come. I think he will come. Then yet he will come, right? That's why this is point of view, my opinion. That's why we use present simple. And the next example with present continuous. The boy is thinking hard at something. The boy is thinking hard at something. So you see, imagine the boy. Look at the boy. Oh my God. He is thinking hard at something like that. Hmm. Right now I am thinking. Düşünüyorum. Right? That's why the process of thinking is underlined here. That's why we use present continuous. MSR plus verb ing. Alright? So we have two more verbs left. And number five will be the verb admire. So also, depending on the translation, you can use simple or continuous tense. So the translation is the first one, hayran olmak. Etmek. 
right? So the next uh, will be the following. Hayran, hayran, bakmak. Hayran, hayran, bakmak. So if you have this meaning, we will use present simple. All right. If we have hayran, hayran, bakmak, we will use present continuous. All right, let me write some examples for you. I admire her beauty. I admire her beauty. You know the translation of the word beauty, I, so, hayranım, right? I admire her beauty. General, simple information. That's why we use present simple. One more example for takdir etmek. I admire his work. I admire his work. Here, I think takdir etmek is the best translation for this sentence. So, what you see, we have just verb in present simple tense. And the next example for Hayran, hayran, bakma. I am admiring the beauty of this building. I am admiring the beauty of this building. Like, it is happening right now. What are you doing? Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I'm, I'm admiring the beauty of this building. It's so impressive. I'm impressed. I'm admiring right now. So the process is going on now. That's why we use present continuous. M is our verb ing. Right now, I'm looking at the building, right? And I'm impressed. So depending on the translation, we use different tenses, all right? And the last one is the verb to have. Look at the board because I have to clean it, the whole, all right? So the verb to have. So if we have the meaning like to own, we use present simple. Present simple. For example, I own this marker. It is mine. This marker is mine. This is my marker. I have a marker. I own it. Right? That's why if you have the meaning of own, you use present simple. And the next one, we can use the verb have in present continuous in the specific set expressions. So I will write in some set expressions. In some set expressions. So we use... We can use actually present continuous if the action is going on now. It can be present simple also. I will explain to you later. So the phrases are the following. For example, to have breakfast. To have breakfast. If the action is now, you will use present continuous. I am having breakfast now or at the moment, right? Also, you can use it with lunch. Maybe some of you use supper, lunch, dinner, right? And next, to have a good time. To have a good time. 
How is it going? Yeah, it's great. I am having a good time right now. Right? I am having a good time. This is set expression. You use it together, not just have breakfast, something different. To have breakfast, you know it. Kahvaltı yapmak. Right? So like one verb. Next one. To have a lesson. To have a lesson. We are having an English lesson now, right? Present continuous. All right, next. To have a talk. To have a talk. So to have a talk is like the same like talk, but like short talk. We are having a talk now, right? Next one. To have a smoke. To have a smoke. Next, to have a shower. To have a shower. Next one, to have a bath. To have a bath. Next, to have a sleep. To have a sleep. The same like sleep. I am ha I'm having a sleep now, I am sleeping now. The same meaning, right? And to have a look. To have a look. So, in these uh, cases, we can use the verb have in present continuous with ing form. For example, first, let's uh, give the example for the meaning of to own. As I told you with the example of marker, I have a marker or uh, the, the basic example, I have a friend, right? She has a car. She has a car. So, she owns a car, right? So, the car belongs to her in the meaning of own, we use present simple. All right? And the next example for present continuous. For example, somebody's calling. Can I see Kate? Can I see Kate? And the answer is no, you can't. Or can I talk to Kate? And the answer is no, you can't. Why? Because She's having a shower. Sorry, let me write like sorry. She is having a shower. Even we don't use the word now, we understand from the situation. Can I see Kate? No, you can't. Sorry, she is having a shower. So you understand that. She is having a shower now. She is having a shower now. From the situation, right now. You don't need to say even now. She is having a shower now, right? And next one. This is when the action is now, but if we talk about repeated, habitual actions, right, like routine, regular actions, we can use the same construction in present simple. That's why I told you, you have to use the word now. You have to understand that the action is at the present moment. For example, she always has a shower on Sunday's evening. She always has a shower on Sunday's evening. Or you can say, she always has a buff on Sunday's evening. It doesn't matter. So let me write it for you. So, to have a shower, this is present continuous, this is present simple. 
here you see that the action is now. Can I see Kate? No, you can't. She is having a shower. Here, present simple. We talk about general information, regular, repeated action. She always has a shower on Sunday's evening. That's why it depends on the situation. So remember these set expressions that can be used in present continuous. It's not the meaning of own, it's like a definite verb, verb, verb. They are used together, all right? So, my friends, today we talked about some stated verbs that also can be used with ing construction, with present continuous, right? So try to memorize them, try to make some examples, uh, make some sentences, right? With present simple or with the meaning of present continuous and you will, you will uh, differentiate them better. So your task is to make some sentences to remember different meanings of these verbs, all right? Six stative verbs that have some exceptions. So that is all for today about stative verbs. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope to see you soon. Take care.